That's why I buy natural candles. That's why I make natural candles because I don't want all these VOCs in my house. Hello everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. On this channel, I share tips and tricks on how to make quality candles coming from someone with a background in chemistry. So if you're new, subscribe. It's absolutely free and tap the little bell and I will notify you each time I post a new video so that you don't miss out. Now, this is a very commonly misunderstood topic. Uh, I can't tell you the number of times I've had people say, oh my God, I'm so glad to have found your candles because they're all natural, which whole nother story. And they don't have any VOCs. You know, we don't want those in our house. <sighs> okay, let me just start here. What is a VOC? So it stands for volatile organic compound. And a VOC is basically anything that contains hydrogen, oxygen, or carbon. And one characteristic of them is that they can evaporate in air. So anything that you smell that has a scent, you could be out in the garden smelling peonies, smelling roses. What gives it the aromatic pleasure that you love are volatile organic compounds. So nearly all fragrance ingredients, as you might imagine, are volatile organic compounds or VOCs. But don't freak out because not all VOCs are bad. I promise you, not all VOCs are bad. I know they have such a terrible rap online and a terrible rap in the media and we're, we associate them so deeply with things that are harmful to us. But a VOC is what you love about your garden and your flowers that are in full bloom. It's what you love about your uh, fabric softener and uh, all the other natural products that you use, your essential oil diffusers. Those are VOCs. They're literally anything that contains hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon that evaporates into the air. Essentially, that becomes an aromatic molecule that you can smell. And you <laughs> oftentimes, hopefully, perceive them as pleasing. Now, to assure you and your loved ones and everyone that you sell your candles to that these products are absolutely safe, that is why we have IFRA. The International Fragrance Association, or IFRA, establishes not only safety of the overall product, but safety of every single ingredient of every single fragrance oil. So you can use your products with confidence and you can purchase products with confidence so long as you know that people are following IFRA guidelines. These are international guidelines too. So no matter where you live, they really do hold place and, and they're consistent across the board internationally. So these apply to essentially anything that you purchase that is made with something that has fragrance in it. Um, it, it should follow IFRA guidelines. And I have actually a whole video on this one that I'm gonna have linked above and I'll link it in the description box for you as well, kind of getting more into what IFRA is. But there are a number of different categories and I'm actually gonna try to make a generic form with each of these categories outlined so you can see exactly what products these would apply to. So whenever you're making, for example, candles, you're gonna be looking at category 12 or whenever you're making fine fragrance, you're gonna look at category four, as in for perfumes um, that are on pressure points, that kind of thing. Or wherever you're making soap, you're going to look at category nine. Um, so all of these things are really, really, really critical to making sure that our fragranced products are safe. And when we follow if for guidelines, we have no doubt that they are because these are the most stringent guidelines that are um, just extremely, extremely rigorous and stringent and um, they are in place to assure us that our products are safe so long as we follow these guidelines. And when we make a product, we look up that certificate and make sure that our product is meeting, our, our usage is meeting um, within the range that is allowable for that particular uh, category within the IFRA certificate. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Sorry, I have a Band-Aid on this finger. I dropped my cell phone when I was in bed, okay? I was sitting like this with my phone and I dropped it and the little button like on the side of this thing, it like hit my nail and like sliced it all the way down the center. I don't know how I managed to, um, 
to hit that just right, but man, it really hurts. So anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, check the description box. I'm gonna try to put like a generic IFR certificate. A lot of times suppliers will have these where you can literally just um, see. I know Candle Science does where they'll outline what each category is for, but a lot of suppliers will just put the categories and you kind of have to know what they, you know, what types of products go for each one. Um, so I'm gonna put a generic one for all of you just for free, you can just download it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Peace, love, and light, and happy candle making.